bring the ball down for the Trojans. Passes to Moody. Moody inside to Rhea. And Edwards, I believe, on her first foul of the game, got part of the ball and part of the hand there. He calls it a push. They have two shots, and it looks like Gate City will be sending in a second string lineup. Score is 51 to 30. They've got a 21 point lead. Not that much to worry about. They have five minutes and eight seconds left on the clock. John Battle came out in the beginning of the fourth period and it looked like they may try to do something, but they could not get the points on the board that they needed. They came back and scored about six or eight points, and that's been their biggest offensive run of the night. So far, it's only been four players, well, excuse me, five now that have scored for John Battle. Jones with six, Moody with six, Rhea with six, Belts with eight, and Keeney with two. While Edwards has 18, Heather Smith with 15, Morris with four, Ghost with four, Bellamy with four, Quillen, Carter, and Bays each with two. Kate City sends in a second string lineup. Even so, they've probably had about as much playing time as the first string. So there's really not that much of a difference between the two. Rhea at the line. Uh, she'll be shooting two foul shots. Five minutes and 18 seconds left on the clock. First shot is up, and it's no good. Rhea has six points, both of those from three-pointers. Second shot is up, and it's good. Carter with the ball for Gate City, bringing it down the court. Passes to Bays. Bays. Looking inside, she's followed by Rhea, and I'm not sure if she goes to the line or not. I think it'll just be a regular foul there. Base will be throwing the ball in. Carter with the ball for Gate City, looking inside. Passes back out to Bays. Bays looking inside, finds Quillen. Quillen turns, shoots just off the rim. Rebounded by Bays. Bays pulls, comes inside, shoots, and there's another two for Bays. Bays with four now. Belts bring the ball down the court. Tammy Carter calling out the defense. Jones with a shot, no good. Rebounded by Lisa Henderson and Moody. Jump ball is called. It'll be John Battle's ball underneath their own goal. Score is 53-31 with four minutes and 27 seconds left. Jones with a shot, no good. Rebounded by Glover, passes off to Tammy Carter. Tammy Carter bringing the ball down the court for Gate City, looking inside, letting the offense set up. Not much there yet. Passes off to Bays at the wing position. Inside to Glover, turns, shoots, and it's blocked by Jones. Carter passes out to Henderson. In a good pass to Quillen. And Glover called with the personal foul there. That's Glover's first personal foul tonight. And that's again the fifth team foul for Gate City. I believe this is a, about the third, fourth time they have, they have had the fifth team foul. I'm not sure exactly. Okay, this is the third time they've had the fifth team foul. Rhea puts up the shot and it's good. She'll have one more. Shot is up, and it's good. Rhea with nine to lead John Battle. Henderson passes into Bays, and Rhea looks like she was giving her a little bit of an elbow there. Passes back to Carter. Carter passes to Henderson. Henderson to Melinda Quillen underneath, and she loses the ball. It'll be Gate City's ball underneath the goal. Score is 53-33. Gate City with a 20-point lead. Three minutes and 53 seconds left on the clock. Carter passes into base. Ooh. Jones getting another cob there. Right in the face of base. And Rhea knocks that one out. It'll be Gate City's ball again. Three minutes and 50 seconds left on the clock. Henderson passes into Carter. Carter, a little bit of fake there. Passes back to Henderson. 
looking inside, finds Quillen to Glover. Glover couldn't hold on to it. Passes out to Henderson again. Henderson dribbles, passes to Carter. Carter loses it to Rhea. Rhea coming down the court, passes to Jones. Jones having some trouble, loses the ball. Henderson fighting for it, and it goes off of Jones's hand or foot one, and the we get City's ball. Henderson throwing it in, passes to Carter. Carter coming down the court, and Rhea is called for pushing. So that'll be foul number four for Rhea. And that's a fifth team foul for John Battle, so Tammy Carter will go to the line. Tammy has two points tonight. She usually doesn't score a lot of points. She's usually in there for her quickness and ball handling abilities to get the ball down the court for Gate City and to pass off to one of the other larger players on the inside. First shot is good. She's got one more. Shot is up off the front of the rim, rebounded by Campbell, and Lisa Henderson stealing the ball. Passes to Quillen. Quillen looking inside, and Jones takes it away. Jones passes out to Moody. Moody looking inside. Nothing there. Passes back out to Jones at the wing position underneath to Rhea. Rhea makes the move, comes in, shoots, and it's good. Rhea with 11 for John Battle. Bays with the ball for Gate City, bringing it down the court. Passes off to Quillen, shot no good, rebounded by Henderson. She puts the shot up. She was fouled by, I believe, number 45. That's who it was. Campbell with her second personal foul of the night. And Lisa Henderson will go to the line. She'll be shooting two. First shot is up. Mm, just skimmed off the rim there. No good. Score is 54-35. Second shot is up, and a line violation. She crossed the line there before the ball hit the rim. That'll be John Battle's ball with two minutes and 50 seconds left on the clock. Moody inbounding the ball. Passes in to Jones. Back to Moody, to Jones, and whoa. A lot of pushing going on out there. Jones passes cross court right to Bays. 23, Rio was right in her face. Bays tried to fake and ended up, she took a couple of stutter steps there. It's called for the traveling. Moody inbounding the ball right underneath the Trojan's goal. Passes into Jones. Jones looking inside, fakes, pulls in. Good move, but just couldn't hit the shot. Jump ball called, and it's Gate City's ball. Bays and Moody there, I believe, with the ball. Lisa Henderson will be throwing the ball in. Passes into Carter. Carter doing a good job keeping the ball away from John Battle's plays. Oh, Linda Quillen doing a good job taking that ball back away from Jones. That wasn't too good of a pass there coming from Carter. Jones was right on top of her. Two minutes and 21 seconds left. Lisa Henderson passing into Carter. Carter pulling, looking, passes into Glover, couldn't get to the ball, and it's John Battle's ball with two minutes and 17 seconds left on the clock. Gate City has a 19-point lead, 54-35. Passes into Jones. Jones passing back to Moody. Moody bringing the ball down the court for John Battle. Fakes comes back, and Quillen right there, right on top of her. Rhea putting up a shot, no good. I'm not sure what they're going to call that on. Looks like they're going to call it on base, and I don't think she got the foul there. No, I believe they said 34. Okay, that would be Glover. That's her second personal foul tonight. Rio goes to the line. Shot is up, and it's good. All met there. Second shot is up, and it's good. Rhea leaving, or leading John Battle with 13 points. Carter bringing the ball down the court for our Gate City, letting the offense set up. And pretty much just trying to run some timeout. 
Less than two minutes left in the game, and Lisa Henderson steals the ball. Quillen passes to Glover. Glover couldn't hold on to it. A little bit high for her. Got a hand on it, but couldn't bring it in. Ball went out of bounds. Minute and 46 seconds left on the clock. Passes to Jones. Bays is there to knock it away. Good defensive play. And Moody throwing the ball in for John Battle. Again, looking for Jones. Passes in. Bays right on top of her. Passes to Rhea. Down the court to Campbell, 45, and she hits it. That's her first two points of the night. Carter with the ball for Gate City, bringing it down the court. Passes off to Bays. Bays looking inside, finds Glover. Glover passes to Quillen. Quillen pulls, shoots. No good. Bays with the shot, and Bays now with six points for Gate City. Passes into Jones. Jones looking for someone to pass off to now. Passes to Moody. Moody passes deep to Campbell, and ooh, Bays gets a cob on Rhea. Jones puts up the shot, no good, and the ball goes out of bounds on Rhea with a minute and three seconds left on the clock. Score is 56-39, and Gate City calls a timeout. Big City playing some great basketball tonight. Everybody on the team out there doing a great job. Just about everyone has scored. Morris has four. Smith with 15. Ghost with four. Bays with six. Edwards with 18. Carter with three. Bellamy with four. And Quillen with two. That makes up 56 points for Gate City. While John Battle has 39 those points coming from leading Rhea with 13, Jones with 6, Moody with 6, Belch with 8, Keeney with 2, and Campbell with 2 points. We've got a minute and 3 seconds left on the clock, and Gate City has in this same string that was in for the entire fourth period. Henderson will be throwing the ball in for Gate City. Passes to Carter, knocked away by Rhea, and it will be Gate City's ball. A minute and two seconds left on the clock. Passes in to Bays. Bays bringing the ball around Jones. Moving quick. Glover just can't hold on to that ball. It passes are quick, but that one went out of bounds on a John Battle player. There's 56 seconds left on the clock. Bays with the inbound pass. And another two for Bays. Bays now with eight points. Moody passing into a belt. Good job by Bays. Stole the ball, tried to pass it, almost went out of bounds. Got the pass off. Ooh, Moody with the traveling. You see his defense has just clamped down and they have not been able to score at all here in the last few minutes of the game. There are 39 seconds left on the clock. Gate City can either just run it out and be happy or just go ahead and play. They're not going to come back. Bay is passing to Quillen. Quillen puts up the shot and Quillen now with four points and it looks like they're going to just play ball. 30 seconds left on the clock. Belts with the ball and Belts Started running before she put the ball down, call on the traveling. 29 seconds left on the clock, Gate City's ball. And it has not been on the John Battle end of the court very much in this period. Carter with the ball for Gate City. 23 seconds left on the clock, trying to pull the defense out. Pulls inside and built with a blocking foul. That is her third personal foul. And Carter will go to the line. We have 20 seconds left on the clock in the fourth period. Score is 60 to 39. Carter will be shooting a one and one. She's 50% tonight. First shot is up just off the rim, rebounded by Moody. Moody looking for someone to pass to. Jones open. Ooh, good play by Lisa Henderson, knocking that ball away. 12 seconds left on the clock. And I believe Coach Sandy Blackwell just told this team to come out here and play like you were in the first quarter and or the fourth quarter and you were down by 10 points, and that's how they're playing. Rhea with the ball for Quinn. Uh, hits another three-pointer. That's her third three-pointer tonight. 
Carter with the ball and the clock runs out. Score is 60-42. Gate City wins by 18 points. I'm Sean Lepp for Gate City Cablevision. I'm here with Clint Phelan and Melissa Blevins doing camera work. Thank you for watching Scott County Cablevision. We're getting ready for our girls' varsity basketball action. Jumping for Gate City is number four, Tracy Ghost. And for Virginia High is number 52, Sherwood. About eight minutes on the clock for the first quarter. And here's the jump. Tracy Ghost with the win. Tips it back to Amy Morris. Amy Morris bringing the ball down the court for Gate City. Passing off to Bellamy. Bellamy breaks inside, puts up a shot, no good. Tracy goes with the rebound, puts up the shot, no good. Gets her own rebound, puts it up again off the rim. Bellamy getting the rebound now. And fouled by number 34 of Virginia High. That's Robinson with her first foul. And Bellamy will go to the line with two shots. First shot is up, and it's no good. Second shot is up, and she hits it. One for two for the first point for Gates City. Number 30 with the ball. That was Foster passing off to number 12. Back to Foster. Passing down court, and no good. Long, out of bounds, and it'll be Gates City's ball. Throwing the ball in for Gate City is number 35, Trish Edwards. Bellamy bringing the ball down the court. Passing off to Morris. Morris putting up a shot from two-point range, and that's good. Morris with two. The score is 3-0. to zero. Gate City passes in. Oh, she wasn't watching. Foster just barely gaining control of the ball before it went back out of bounds. Doss with the ball passing off to number 22, Bobbitt. Underneath number 34, shot no good up on... Under the backboard. And a foul is called on number 10. That's Bellamy with her first foul. So Robinson will go to the line. First shot is up and no good. She's got one more shot. The second shot is up. A lot of arch on it. She still misses, though. Rebounded by number 12, Doss. Foster with the ball out at the top of the key, trying to break around. Hits number 12 in the head and bounces off. Smith with the rebound. Passes off to Morris. Morris bringing the ball down the court for Gate City. Sets up the offense. Passes out to Bellamy. Bellamy flips it into Smith. Smith breaks towards the goal, and there's two points for Heather Smith. Foster with the ball for Virginia High, trying to break the Gate City press. Passes off to number 12, Doss. And back to Foster. Foster out to number 22. She breaks inside. And shot is no good. Gets her own rebound. Puts it up. No good. Rebound by number 52. Puts up the shot. No good. And a foul called on. I believe that'll be against Bellamy again. And it is. That's Bellamy's second personal foul. And number 52, that's Sherwood, will go to the line with two shots. First shot is up and good. She's got one more shot. Score is now five to one. Second shot is up and off the rim. And Trish Edwards with the rebound there. 
Passes off to Morris. Morris bringing the ball down the court, setting up the offense, fakes and passes off to Bellamy. Bellamy with the shot, and it's good. Bellamy now with three points. Foster passing back to Doss. Doss having a little bit of trouble. Passes back to Foster. It looks like she walked there. She pulls, shoots, no good. Rebounded by Ghost. Ghost getting up there for the rebound. Passes out to Bellamy. Bellamy has to knock away. Ghost gets control of the ball and passes to Morris. Morris letting the offense set up. Score is 7-1. to one. Pulls, shoots, and it's good. Two-point range is close to the three-point line. Back up another foot, and she'd be hitting three-pointers. Foster with the ball for Gates, for excuse me, Virginia High, and Doss almost losing it. Morris getting up close, passes into Edwards. Edwards passing back to Morris. Morris letting the offense set up, passes to Ghost. Ghost out to Bellamy, and they call three seconds. That was a quick three seconds there. Gates City was hardly down on the they're into the court that long. Five minutes and three seconds left on the clock. Doss throwing it into. Sherwood to Foster. And Foster running double dribbles as she got right into the middle of a good city crowd. And I don't think the referees are going to take that too long. That pass was not a very kind one, put it that way. Bellamy with the ball for Gate City, letting the offense set up. Top of the key passes to Morris. Morris looking underneath to Edwards. Edwards with her first shot of the game just off the rim. Ghost with the rebound. She's been getting in there for the rebounds. Missed the shot. Smith with the rebound. Shot is up and good. Smith now with four, and she'll go to the line with one shot. Coach Blackwell talking to Tracy Ghost right now. She's been getting up there for the rebounds, getting a lot of rebounds for Gate City. Shot is no good. Rebounded by number 34, Robinson. Out to number 22, Bobbitt. Bobbitt slowing it down. Passes back to Foster. Foster letting the offense set up. Passes underneath to Doss. Doss to Bobbitt. Back to Foster. Foster out to Robinson on the wing position. Robinson looking in. Nothing there. Passes out to Doss. Doss with the shot and good for two. Bellamy with the ball for Gate City. Passes down to Morris. Morris doing a good job keeping the ball under control. Passes back to Bellamy. Bellamy looking underneath. Ghost doing a lot of crossing underneath. Shot is up for Morris, and it's good. Morris now with six points for Gate City. Score is 13 to three. Gate City getting off to an early lead. And Bobbitt breaking the inside there. No good. Ghost got a hand on that ball. She got a hand on the ball. Good defensive play. Bobbitt just kind of flung her body in there and hoped for the best. That's what she got. That's the first foul against the Ghost. And it looks like, I'm not sure, I believe Gate City called the timeout. It was Gate City. Score is 13 to three. Gate City's varsity. Lady Devils up by 10 points with three minutes and 44 seconds left in the clock for the first period. Coach Blackwell talking to his team. They've been playing some good ball out here in the first few minutes of the game. Getting in there, getting the rebounds. Usually Gate City isn't that strong of a rebounding team early on in the game, but Ghost has really come on tonight, not giving the Bearcats a chance at all underneath the goal. Edwards has only taken one shot so far. She's Missed that one. Morris is leading with six points. Smith right behind her with four. And Bellamy with three points for Virginia High. Doss has two. Robinson has two. And Sherwood has one. And Bobbitt will be shooting for Virginia High. Taking a little bit of time here. She's got two shots. First time she's been to the foul line. First shot is up and it's good. She's got one more shot. Scores now 13 to four. 
Three minutes and 44 seconds left on the clock in the first period. Second shot is up, and it's good. She hits two for two. Bellamy with the ball for a good city. Passes off to Morris. Morris passes back to Bellamy. Bellamy to Edwards. Edwards inside to Smith, and number 51 got a hand on it. That's Rose. And there'll be a foul against her, probably reaching in, I suppose. Still a little bit of a push there, but... Could be Gate City's ball underneath your own goal. Amy Morris hand handling the inbounding duties. Set up play number one. We'll see what that is. Passes right into Bellamy. Bellamy takes a shot just off the rim. Edwards with the rebound. Puts the shot up. No good. Rebounded by Smith. No good. Puts the shot again. And finally sinks it. Smith with six. Bellamy breaks that play up. It's still Virginia High's ball. Score is 15 to 5. Gets City with their 10-point lead. They've been over to sustain since the first minutes of the game. And Virginia High sends in a substitution, number 40 coming in. That's Bailey coming in for Doss. She'll be inbounding the ball and passes in to Foster. Foster trying to bring the ball down the court and tosses it back to Bobbitt. Bobbitt back to Foster. Foster trying to work it in and she travels. So it'll be Gate City's ball. We have three minutes and five seconds left on the clock in the first period. The score is 15 to five, Gate City. Trish Edwards inbounding the ball and Virginia High comes out with a press. Gate City sends in two substitutions, Bays and Carter coming in. Bays coming in for Ghost and Carter for Bellamy. Carter with the ball for Gate City, bringing it down the court. Carter, probably one of the quicker players on the Gate City Lady Devils team. Passes into Bays. Bays with the shot just off the rim. Smith getting the rebound. Puts up the shot. No good. And Smith again with the rebound. Passes out to Morris. Morris fakes. Passes out to Carter. Carter with the shot from two just off the rim. Bays and Carter both going for the rebound. Carter comes out with it. Passes to Bays. Bays has time to set up. Puts up the shot and it's good. Bays with her first two points of the game. Foster with the ball and Carter trying to trap, pushing it down the court. Bays sets it up, steals it from Foster. Open court comes down with the layup, puts it up, and Bays with four now. Passes into number 40, Bailey. Foster with the ball now, trying to bring it down the court and passes it right to Bays. Bays off to Carter. Carter back to Bays. Bays putting up the shot. Bays now with six points for Gate City. She's been in only about a minute and scores six points for Gate City. Score is 21 to 5. We have a minute and 56 seconds left on the clock in the first period. And Bays only in there for about a minute and eight seconds possibly. Scores six points. One offensively, two from defensive plays that have paid off. So leading for Gate City is Morris, Smith, and Bays, each with six points apiece. Bellamy with three. For Virginia High, Doss has two. Bobbitt with two points. And Sherwood with one. As Gate City goes off to an early lead, they have a 16-point lead in the first period. It's a minute and 56 seconds left on the clock. To come back out onto the court, and it'll be Virginia High's ball. Virginia High makes a few substitutions. They've got a number 32. That's Avery. Gate City using their press, and Rose trying to slip in behind Edwards. Avery pushing the ball down the court quickly, passes to number 51. Rose shot no good, and Edwards comes down with the rebound. Carter bringing the ball down the court for Gate City. Passes to some base, and... Loses the ball off of Avery's foot. Avery is wearing an air cast. Looks like it's just helping her a little bit. Morris passing in the ball. Passes to Carter. Carter has time to sit up. Shot just off the rim. No good. Avery with the rebound. Pushing it down the court. Slows it down as nothing is there. Brings it back out. Foster at the top of the key. Tries to work her way in. 
Shot is up, no good. Rebounded by Bays of Gate City. Bays bring the ball down the court. Top of the key passes into Edwards at the baseline. Edwards with two. Gate City with the lead, 23 to five. What is that, Avery tripping Amy Morris out of bounds? 